Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. So this week I want to talk to you about how we kind of protect ourselves from being hurt in the world. Now, we have this amazing subconscious mind, which is just phenomenal at keeping us alive and helping us to survive in the world. Unfortunately, it's not great at helping us truly thrive. It is so busy trying to get us to protect ourselves and creating fear in us to get us to react to outside stimulus that it perceives could be harmful to us, that it ends up, or we end up, living in a fear-based world. And living in a fear-based world is not fun. It's not enjoyable, it doesn't bring joy, open-heartedness, laughter, all of the things that we actually really want in our lives, the subconscious mind would have us deprive ourselves of, purely so that we could be safe and to ensure our survival. I go into a lot more about this in the courses that I've, the online courses that I've developed, but I think I've shared enough for you to understand how the subconscious mind can play into these sort of things. Now, the reason I'm sharing this with you is because I want to talk about when life sort of bumps us around, like when we um, have a, a bad relationship that breaks down, or if we have an experience at work where someone says something or does something that upsets and hurts us, or we fail at something and things don't work out the way we want them to. What happens with the subconscious is it takes all the information in from whatever experience you've had that didn't work out the way you wanted it to, and it analyzes it and it creates programs and beliefs and a whole network of different things to ensure that you don't ever have to experience that pain again. Now, whilst that might seem like a really great idea, because who really wants to experience pain, what it can do is make us shut down, make us harden ourselves to, to the world and prevent us from living open-heartedly and authentically. Because if you're protecting yourself, you have layers, you have defences up and in place. And if you go into, say for instance, you have had a disastrous romantic relationship, but you really do want to have a romantic partner, you want to have your soulmate, your partner in life, your other half, your beloved, whatever it is you want to call it, you do really want that. But you've been hurt in the past. When you go into that new relationship, and if you carry those past learnings, the beliefs that you get hurt, that it's painful, you are already trying to protect yourself right from the start, from the get go. And when you do that, you're not creating a space for a beautiful relationship to flourish. So the reason I'm sharing all of this with you is that if we allow those defences to stay in place, if we allow our hearts to harden, if we allow ourselves to be defensive, yes, we might save ourselves from future pain, but we also don't allow ourselves to experience love, to be totally authentic, to be fully ourselves, we shut parts of ourselves down and we shut parts of ourselves off. And when we do that, we aren't living fully. Now, it can be hard to let those things go. It can be hard to acknowledge the pain and to observe how you react when you think that that pain is going to happen again and to choose a different path. But sometimes in life, doing the things that are hard and uncomfortable is the best thing for you in the long run. I hope that this has created some awareness in you of some patterns that you might have in your life where you've shut yourself off so to so as to protect yourself and in creating that awareness I hope it allows you to make different choices in the future. Thank you so much for listening if you've enjoyed this please like or subscribe or comment because I'd love to hear from you and if you'd like to learn anything about my online courses or would like to contact me for coaching all of the links to that will be in the show notes below. So much love from me to you. Bye-bye.